Back pain has become the number one cause of disability in our country. The worst of all, back pain uh, disability is increasing faster than any other disability. Even if you don't have back pain now, you have an 80% chance that you're going to have back pain later. Spinal stretch can help protect you from this. Spine experts believe that up to 85% of all back pain stems from the disc drying out and breaking down. The problem is most treatments today do not address the root cause. They do not put water back in the disc. When we're young and our discs are healthy, they're composed of approximately 85% water. The high water content keeps the disc plump and thick so the vertebrae don't jam and pinch the nerves. The constant force of gravity pushing down on the disc puts hundreds of pounds of stress on the low back. This excessive force is like pushing down on a sponge. It drives the water out. Yes, when we lie down, the, the, the effect of gravity is lessened considerably, but there's still at least approximately 50 pounds of pressure on the disc because of muscle and ligament tension. So the low back discs are constantly under pressure, and this pressure inhibits the disc's ability to absorb water and stay healthy. Everybody knows that we get shorter as we age. Ask yourself, what happens? Well, you understand that your head doesn't shrink, your legs don't get shorter. What truly happens is the discs start to dry up and break down, and they flatten down. And you lose height in your spine. It's kind of like your, the disc pad on your brakes, slowly getting smaller and smaller. Eventually, it starts to be metal on metal. There comes a time when the disc gets so small, eventually, it starts to become bone on bone or bone on nerve. Back in the 70s, when NASA determined that astronauts were coming back to Earth as much as two and a half inches taller, some really smart neurosurgeons appreciated what this meant for the possible future care of back pain. It proved to the spine experts that the disc can be rehydrated if you relieve the pressure on the disc. Spinal stretch works because it distracts or stretches out the spine and relieves pressure on the disc to mimic weightlessness on Earth. As she increases the pull on her low back, the lumbar spine is being stretched or decompressed. Think of the disc like a sponge. Now, if I hold a sponge real tight in my hand, I can put it in a lot of water, but it will not absorb the water until I start to release the pressure. And then the water can start to diffuse back in. The same thing with the disc. If you take the pressure off the disc, it creates a negative pressure inside the disc. And like a vacuum, water is pulled back into the disc. So most therapies or treatments today are aimed at relieving the symptoms or relieving the pain. Our intent is to try to treat the root cause by rehydrating the disc. To keep our disc healthy is like keeping our teeth healthy. Of course, dentists are critical in the care of our teeth. But just as critical as the fact is our home care, the constant use of a toothbrush. You have a toothbrush that you can use at home, take it with you and use it when you want. It's relatively inexpensive. We feel that spinal stretch is the same for the disc. You take it home, you use it frequently. Uh, I would recommend using spinal stretch three or four times a week for 15 minutes per time. When patients have an acute flare-up, I advocate that they use it every day for 15 minutes. Most people, when they use spinal stretch, when they get up, they say they feel lighter. The, the, the spine is relieved of pressure. And they, they feel like they have more motion and movement in their low back. If we don't get on track and start decompressing our spines to keep the disc healthy and hydrated, we can't expect to go to the doctor once the problem has gotten out of control.